Hello everybody, I thought today I would share with you a highly requested video and one of my family's absolute favorite fall, winter, and even summer meals sometimes. And I'm talking about my loaded hearty potato soup. It's so simple to make, it will shock you how easy it is. There's no measuring and I'll walk you through all of it. You're gonna need some potatoes. Now, I like to use Idaho, but I've also used new red potatoes before and left the skins on. It's completely up to you. Now, depending on how much soup you make, that's gonna you know, depend on how much um, potatoes you dice up. So, I am using this um, brand new Rachel Ray stock pot, and I did an open box video that I will link right here. Um, but generally, I like to fill it about halfway full with diced potatoes so that kind of gives me a measuring idea and for my potato soup I like to use one um, packet depending on the size pot of instant mashed potatoes now normally I make a big pot so I use two packets but you can find these in your grocery store they're just to thicken the soup up it's something my grandmother's done since I've been a little girl and that's how I make it myself and potato soup wouldn't be potato soup in my house without some crumbled bacon on top. So I'm going to fry up a pound of bacon. Also, what would potato soup be without some shredded cheese? Now you can shred your own, but tonight's a weeknight and I'm wanting to get the soup done. So I'm just going to use um, some store-bought shredded cheese. But again, shred your own if you can. Be better. Um, I use one large onion, but if you don't like onions, you could always leave that out. And I use about half of this, um, about four ounces of butter. So, you know, I'm going to cut this in half, but about one stick of butter. I also like a um, green onion diced up to go on top. One is large enough. I just washed this, and I will dice it up to go on top of our soup. I like a little bit of garlic powder to season it up, and some salt and pepper. That is all it's going to take, and I'm going to show you exactly how I make it. First, I'm going to peel and dice up some potatoes while getting the bacon frying on the stove. So I have the onions diced up and the potatoes diced up. I washed them, peeled them, diced them up, and just diced up a white sweet carrot. I'm going to get them in the pot. So the potatoes and onions are on the stove now. All I did was cover the potatoes and onions with water to the top of the potatoes. You can see I didn't bring it all the way up the pot. It's just to the top of the potatoes and we're going to bring these to a boil and wait till they're tender. Just use a fork and when they start to get tender, take them off the heat. Okay, so the potatoes are fork tender. Now you're just going to take your milk or heavy cream or milk and heavy cream, which is what I'm going to do tonight. And you're going to add, it's just kind of hard to gauge, you're just going to add, I would say, about the same amount of water you added. About right. You don't have to be too precise with it. Just make sure you have plenty. Now, I'm going to jazz mine up tonight, even though I said I wasn't going to, but I am with a little bit of heavy cream. I'm going to use... About half of a pint. Just to make it a little more rich. Stir it in. Make sure there are no potatoes on the bottom. Stir it well. A lot of people have to deal with sticking potatoes, but you gotta stir it. I have the heat lower. I'm gonna add my one stick of butter. I'm gonna add a pumple of um, garlic powder. Stir that in. One pack of my instant potatoes. Right in. Now you're going to stir it up really well. You can buy instant potatoes that are flavored with garlic. You can buy them um, with chives. Doesn't matter. Use whichever ones that look good to you. Just because we like them a little um, thicker, I'm going to add a little more instant potato right in. And potato soup don't take all day to make. It only takes until the potatoes are basically tender and you get the milk or cream heated up and you thicken it up. So this is close to being ready to serve. See the soft boil? And I think it's perfect. Make sure you have enough salt and pepper and I'll show you how I serve it up. The bacon is done. I just ran my knife through it. This is what we're gonna have on top of our soup. And I'm gonna have a bite right now. 
So here's how I like to serve it up. Again, with the cheese and some bacon and some green onions. I'm serving it with pumpernickel bread that we can dip right down into the soup. It's going to be absolutely delicious. Normally, I like to just serve it up right on my island. And I just put the soup out um, and the toppings and let everybody fix their own um, bowl the way they want it. My husband actually uses a ton of cheese in his. And... It's the perfect, perfect wintertime soup. And even, you know, in summer, my family absolutely loves this. Look at this delicious looking soup. Look at that. Does that not look delicious? Oh my gosh. My family is starving, so I'm going to get dinner on the table. Thank you so much for watching. You can find the recipe below in the down bar and on my blog at kjaggers.com. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys really soon. Bye-bye.